welcome all of you dear friends this is the simplest and easiest way of teaching learning process in our most favorite youtube channel you know physics make it simple by dr rajendra kobarne now serving as a principal in loknete dr bala saheb vikhe patil padma bhushan awardee pravara rural education societies mahatma phule vidyalaya and junior college dad bk taluka rahata district ahmednagar as long as 12 science wave optics is concerned this is a lecture number 14 and in this lecture we are learning about how to draw ray diagram of young's double slit experiment remember student today's lecture is a workshop for you because many of the students have lots of difficulties how to draw ray diagram of young's double slit experiment i will try my level best to make this diagram very easy as long as your examination point of view because name of our channel is physics make it simple so pause the video and make a pre setting that i have done on the board initially remember well that be careful take two sources s1 and s2 suppose this is your notebook page and s1 and s2 distance between s1 and s2 take in such a way that one line is in between s1 and s2 this is a notebook page this is a convex lens this is a point source which is monochromatic source and we get a plane wave front by putting this point source is on the focus of the convex lens more detail explanation we will see in the 15th lecture today's lecture is a workshop actually and remember well students you have to draw the ray diagram along with me so take a two compass in one compass fix a black pen and take a another compass and in another compass fix a red pen a red pen sorry so pause the video make all these pre settings and then we will see how to draw ray diagram of young's double slit experiment in a simplest way i haven't have a any i haven't a compass in my hand but i will try my level best by making use of a simple hand okay pause the video for 2 minutes and then again listen okay take two pens this is a black pen this is a red pen i am sure you might have done all the pre settings that i have already done on the board take two coherent sources s1 and s2 by leaving one line this is our notebook page and how we can draw see here crest so draw the crest at first by taking s1 source this is crest one crest like this actually you have to draw by making use of compass but i have no compass okay then by taking a same center by taking a same center like this by taking a same center another half circle is of like this another half circle is of like this okay by taking a same sir circle by taking a same center s1 this is the another one how we can draw like this see here okay like this then from this to this like this see here see here see here 
ओके देन अनदर वन क्रस्ट ट्रफ क्रेस्ट ट्रफ देन अनदर वन फ्रॉम दिस टू दिस फ्रॉम दिस टू दिस ओ ड्रॉप टू दिस पॉज द वीडियो एंड ड्रॉप टू दिस सी by taking s1 as a center crest trap crest trap crest like this then we will take s2 center pause the video listen carefully pause the video come up to this we have to simultaneously draw your ray diagram along with me that is most important then it will make it very easy okay then by taking s2 is a center by taking s2 is a center first one black from this to this how how see here like this then next one next one here 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 touching point is here because this is a central bright point we get central bright point here like this so this is the point this is the point central bright point we come here i have already noted the points here okay this is one then second one is the red by taking s2 is the center from this to this like this how it is see here how it is like this like this oh like this then black from this to this this to this from this to this and this how it is draw like this oh ho we have to approach up to this like this okay then black the next one is red again we come up to this then red then red like this like this up to this then again black from this to this from this black 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 like this and our diagram is completed see here what happens we get crest crest trough trough crest crest trough trough and we get a bright point like this we get a bright point here okay then here crest trough here crest crest trough here the point goes up the point go up, the point goes up but point should be here here the point should be here so how we can get point here this point is correct but this point goes up then what what we have to do point cross crossing point should be here so remove this like this crossing point should be here how we can make it how we can make it like this sorry black pen correct and we get the point here up now here here then connect this all points like this and we get a dark point arrow should be there arrow should be there arrow arrow we can show with the help of red pen arrow arrow see here now crest trough crest trough ha oh, see here the point goes in the downward direction but point should be here 
point should be here then erase this black line erase this black line and take cross line here this is trial and error method this happened because i have no use compass if we use compass then you will get a correct figure then you will get a correct figure see here like this okay then next the point should be here here point is coming here point should be here like this the point should be here like this then erase this red line erase this red line then draw a red line like this see here see here like this okay okay then we get point here and then connect all the all these lines okay here is a arrow and we get dark point we get a dark point we can write here b stands for b stands for bright point d stands for dark point so in this way alternate bright dark bright dark bright dark bright dark bright we can only we can only produce three bands central band is always bright that we get here see here crest crest trough trough sorry trough trough crest crest because black line suggest crest trough trough crest crest trough trough crest crest we get bright point see here crest trough crest trough crest trough crest trough we get dark point meeting of crest trough crest trough crest trough crest trough we get dark point so in this way alternate bright dark and dark alternate bright and dark point is obtain on the screen for our convenience we have only show three bands and this is more sufficient many times question asked draw a neat labeled ray diagram of yang's double slit experiment so this is a ray diagram and this is a labeling that i have already written that s is a monochromatic source c is a convex lens ab is a opaque screen s1 s2 two narrow slits p q screen to observe interference p q this is a screen to observe interference and ab is a op opaque screen over opaque screen we have drilled two sources s1 and s2 in this way we can easily draw ray diagram of eng's double slit experiment to demonstrate interference more detail its working its explanation importance of eng's double slit experiment in the next lecture in lecture number 4 in lecture number no 14 in lecture number 15 but today's lecture is a workshop it is not a lecture it is not a lecture in this workshop we have to learn only how to draw ray diagram of neat labeled ray diagram of eng's double slit experiment dear student in a simplest manner because name of our channel is physics make it simple you can subscribe it and follow my channel continuously so that you can also get a physics in a simplest way okay goodbye we will explain this young's double slit experiment in a lecture number 15 till try to make a practice to draw this red diagram okay